Hello, this is LJ Bothell with a Microsoft Excel video on a final project. It's a final project where you'll get to work on several worksheets. And it's like a real life type of scenario where you will start with just basic information and you'll have to keep building on it and doing various tasks in order to be able to complete the following worksheets all the way up until the end when you'll be able to do a consolidated table of pivot tables and do a, a couple of charts and graphs based on that. So this video is just to give you an overview of what you're looking at when you open up the final project so that it hopefully isn't confusing. So like many of the assignments that I give you, I will have a general instructions worksheet right at the beginning. However, in this case, it's only general instructions for the whole project and examples of what the finished screenshots should, be, look, should look like. So you have an idea of where you should be aiming. In here, um, I note that there are seven worksheets to actually complete. Now it'd be sheets one through seven here. And in each of these, you're going to have specific tasks in those worksheets. And they are built into the worksheets. So in the case of sheet one, when you open it up, there's going to be a whole bunch of tasks to do with a green background and a couple of call outs. And the tasks you'll do will actually be to the left of that. So I've already built up some stuff in here for you to work with um, and you'll be able to use this data to follow these various steps, whether it's making changes to the data format, to doing a VLOOKUP, to adding some new data, to doing a SUM, to creating a, an actual or rather inserting a table based on this data set of information. Same thing with Sheet 2. Sheet 2 will have instructions in order for you to process the information given to you. Same with sheet three, four, and five, which will each be using a lot of data linking in order for you to get information in here through the quantity order from the first sheet, different cells. So the instructions will tell you what's expected there. In sheet six, you'll be creating three pivot tables one based on data from each of three of the sheets that cover uh, one month's worth of work. And in sheet seven, you will be creating a consolidated table based on the data from the pivot tables. And then you'll be creating a pie chart and modifying that to go with it. So again, on this sheet, just like most of the others, the tasks will be on the right hand side of the sheet and then the data that you'll work with or fill in or modify will be on the left-hand side of the sheet. And essentially when you're done with the sheet and following all of its instructions, it would be great if you can go ahead and come over and then hide the instructions. So I can look at them if I need to, but I don't need to see them. I can see your finished work. All of this stuff will probably seem pretty self-evident as you start working through it. There are no tricks to this. There's nothing in here that we shouldn't have already covered in our textbook and our various textbook homework and section assessments um, in video demos that I've given you um, in the um, any other videos that you have looked up. There will also be three points of maximum, um, ma maximum three points of optional extra credits. So in the instructions, going back over to sheet one, where I had hidden the instructions here. Let's unhide them. There's only a couple of sheets where I offer some extra credit, but the extra credit will be called out in the instructions with a gray bar and a light gray area. You do not have to do this. This just happens to be here. If you have a little extra time, you'd like to do a little bit of extra, and it tells you what you need to do. So in this case, we'll be going to cells J3, J4, M3, M4, which happen to be up here. And you can see those. And like worksheets that you've worked on in this class before, you'll be asked to put in information. But again, these are optional extra credit. Each one of these responses is worth half a point and then on the final sheet you'll get the option to do uh, a second consolidated table and uh, chart to go with it and that will be worth one point 
Um, so that's how that works. Um, when you're finished with everything, please return to this final general instructions worksheet because I have some questions I'd like to ask. Um, that way I can get some info from you on how the class went, how the final went, etc. And then finally down here so that you have some visual examples of what you need to see. It doesn't actually have all of the data because this table is really, really big. So there's a lot more rows than I could fit in here and still have you able to see things. But this gives you an idea of what the finished section should look like. Note here that there's going to be three spreadsheets, one for October, then November and December. Each one should look a lot like this, although this is the November one, the, uh, excuse me, the October one. The November one will have dates in here for November. The December one will have the data for the dates for December, but they'll all look roughly the same when you're done with them and they're asking for the same kind of steps. This is what your three pivot chart should look like. They're cut off because they're longer than I could put on this screenshot so you could actually see things, but they are a little longer. And then this is an example of the consolidated table you'll be making and the, the chart that goes with it and then the extra credit. So anyway, if you have questions on how this works, make sure to contact me. However, if you have questions on the actual steps themselves, like how to do a VLOOKUP, how to you know do a count if, those are things that are already work that you will have done and that will be in the textbook will be in the homework and because this is a final project I won't be able to give you those answers in advance. I've given you a few hints in here and I've tried to make sure that the instructions are very clear but you will have to go back and look at the work you've completed, the textbook, the demo videos as needed. You'll want to set aside at least three or four hours for this. Some of you will find that some of this is still really easy or really fresh. Others may have to kind of massage it and go through and, and take a little more time. So you don't have to sit down, do it in one shot. You can work on worksheet one and take care of that and then take a break for a, a day or so. You'll usually have a week and a half to two weeks to do this final project um, before it's due. The second thing is, is just, you know, give yourself time, just relax. Um, something to know is I will not grade these until they are all in at the due date. So unlike my other grading where I will grade during the course of the week and you'll get a second chance with this, I won't grade until all of them are in and until the work is, is done and the due date is over. So I think that's about all I could think of. Just, you know, relax, stay hydrated. Really, really, I recommend you do not start this one or two days before the due date, because if you run out of time, eh, I'm not going to extend anything. I'm not on contract after the due date is over and the grades are done. However, if something truly happens and you aren't able to complete everything in here, please do turn in what you do complete so you can at least get some points and I can see what you've learned. Other than that, um, good luck. Enjoy. It's not a bad final project. Usually students, whether they're PC students, students working on a Mac, um, as long as you've got the full version of Excel and have been working with this the whole quarter, you'll have fun with this. People seem to actually enjoy this project and they feel really great when it's done. It's like, wow, I learned a lot. So with that, um, thank you for uh, taking this class. I hope you enjoy this final and uh, thank you very much.